It's a joy to be with you on this Thursday, and I trust God's blessing in your life. Today, we want to look at 1 Peter chapter 1. Peter had learned so much in his life, and God had restored him, and he had the great privilege of preaching the message at Pentecost, and uh, God used him as a pillar of the church, and even gave him the privilege of writing scripture. And in the first chapter that he wrote under inspiration, he finishes that chapter uh, in verses 24 and 25. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is the flower of grass. Now he had learned that. He wanted so badly to be part of the cabinet of uh, the new king. Uh, he was looking at what he would gain from being loyal to the Lord Jesus. And of course, he denied the Lord. And he realized that the glory of man is like the flower of grass. It withers away. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. He had learned that all the things that he thought were important really didn't matter. They don't last. Think about how many people live for things in this world that are not going to last. And many Christians waste their life. As 1 Corinthians 3 says, it's wood, hay, stubble, and it's going to be burned up. It's not eternal. And then he says something that's very helpful, verse 25, but the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Friends, the truth of the word of God is what life is all about. And when our lives are in full uh, identification with Christ through a full dependence upon God's word, now we're talking about a life that is going to endure. We're talking about that which won't corrupt. The word of God, it'll endure forever. Every bit of truth we have in God's word will be the same truth that we have a billion years from now in heaven. So when we bank our life on the truth, when we count upon God's word, then we can know what we're doing based upon the power of God in obedience to the word of God. That is going to last forever. Friends, that's encouraging. If you see your life just slipping away, if you see maybe even your finances slipping away with our economy, maybe you've lived for things that don't matter, well, then you're going to get discouraged and a bit of a, of a panic is going to come over you. But if your life is all about just standing upon the Word of God and allowing Him to do things that are going to last, people's hearts reached, people uh, coming to know the Lord, their lives changed, to be part of a work that's going to make a difference, well, then you can stay encouraged because what you're doing matters. And so even if these things that are temporary are gone, wither away, that's all right. Your life still is counting. And believers that truly have that cannot be thrown then by the circumstances of the day. So may God help us have that perspective to live for that which is eternal.